Hi guys, welcome to day four of my 30 day challenge. Um, I am in the process, I want to create a snow village upstairs. I want it to be a winter village. I don't want it to be like a Christmas village. Um, I just want it to be a winter village. Um, but in my search for things to paint and whatnot for the village, I found this cookie um, cookie container. And I've been wanting one for my kitchen. And let me see if I can get it all in here. Here we go. There we go. And it says Dutch treats on it, but it looks like a little barn. It's got a woman down here. And as you can see, I paid three dollars for it. Um, it is heavy, um, but I am going to recreate this um, and to put it in my kitchen. My kitchen is grays and blacks and um, all along those lines. So. Um, that is what we are going to do today. I'm going to start this. This will probably be a two part series. I will get it cleaned and prepped um, in today's video. And then tomorrow we will paint it. And so I will be right back. Let me gather all the supplies. Okay, we're back. And we have some wet wipes, some alcohol, some Q-tips, a paper towel. I have a paper towel, and I have my paint. So I have not even touched this. So this is straight from the store. Just got it today. Went to a um, what is it? A like a mission thrift store, um, one town over, and picked it up. beat up on the corners and I could probably figure out a way to like build that back up but it won't matter much. I'm going to have to research and decide how I want to paint it. I'm thinking I want to do something checkerboard. Um, I have a lot of um, or buffalo print I should say. I have a lot of buffalo print upstairs and so um it's actually not as dirty as what i was expecting and this looks like somebody maybe attempted to recolor this this kind of looks like some sort of paint so I don't know if I'm the first person to attempt this. Actually, I'm going to try to put some fingernail polish remover, nail polish remover on this. Um, let's see if it takes anything off. It's not taking anything off. So I guess that is just the design because if it was, I'd be cooked in. I don't know. Taken off a whole lot.
know what part it came off. Sometimes if you get something from the store and you don't like it's printed on there, it's not like this is some pretty tough stuff. But if you take um, nail polish remover, it will take some of the designs. So say you, I bought um, some little houses for the village at Walmart and it had blessings and gather and other things on it and even though it was cute it just didn't fit but I wanted I like the houses so I took this nail polish remover and um, went over it and it took the ink right off and so and now I'm gonna spray it with some alcohol this is 90% alcohol just to get in these little crevices as I was expecting. I was really expecting it to be pretty dirty. Alright, it won't take long for that to dry since it is alcohol. Um, I think we're going to start with the top. And I am going to use this chalk paint from Walmart, the Waverly White. Give it a good shake. I thought I brought a plate over. I don't know what I do with it. Alright, I'm going to pour it out on the plate just so I'm not dipping back into my container. And let's pour out a generous amount. And then I have these um, paint bristle brushes. This is the half an inch or the inch. I get these at Harbor Freight. I get a box of them for like 12 bucks or 20. Let's see. I think it has 48 in it for 12 bucks. And what I do, because I use these on, if I'm doing any kind of wood, um, and see how it's got the bristles and they're kind of um, feathered and whatever. What I do is I take my scissors and I'm going to, I'm going to cut down, I'm going to take all the feathers off. So let me do it over the trash can. And that just kind of gets rid of the feathers. And as you can see, it's straight across. So you want to keep where your brush it your brush came in this little guy um, because. When you're letting your paint dry, um, you can keep your brush in here and it will keep your brush still wet so that you don't have to reuse this brush. And if you do discard this, then you can just um, put a piece of saran wrap around it or just pop it in a little Ziploc bag. Um, so that way you don't have to get another brush even though you're not done painting. So, and we're just basically going to prime this entire piece. So, I will get this started and then I'll probably finish this top off camera just so you guys don't have to sit and watch me paint this entire thing because 
What's the fun in that? And you don't, you want it pretty smooth. You don't want it, um, you don't want a lot of, like, paint, um, puddles. So just make sure that you get it all spread out. Okay, I will be back when I get this top done. Okay, we're back. Um, I have the top all covered. It took me maybe 10 minutes. It didn't take me very long. I'm going I'm to set this aside and I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to do just the top part that probably sits right on this. Um, on this, I'm just going to start here. want to make sure that you get down in all these little crevices and I might need to get a smaller little brush to get down in there. little bristles are very resilient. That's the reason why if you're working on wood, um, getting these is um, the only thing is is that they do shed. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it does shed. So. another little piece. Sometimes cutting it like I did in the beginning will help with that shedding part. Um, but not always. Okay, well, it's done. Yeah, just I'm sure these little circular motions that I'm making is what's causing it to Shed more. There. Oh, I can see on the camera just one little spot. All right, I'm going to do the other sides and I'll be back. All right, I've got all four sides. I'm just going to do this top. let it dry. I'm going to bring this guy back on. Alright, let's see. I'm just going to do this top. Yeah, it's going to need two coats. on my little first little bit of paint that I originally poured out so as you can see this really goes 
a long ways. not dry where you brush over it's just going to pick right back up so I'm going to let both of these dry and I'm going to do a second coat and then I will come back and we'll finish up this video with mapping out a plan as to what we're going to do on it I will see you in a bit Okay, I am back. Um, so on this second coat, using this bristle, the hard bristle, was leaving um, too deep of lines. And I'll probably get a bigger one, but I'm going in with a regular brush because I wanted to have a more smooth um, canvas to work on so I'm going to get a bigger brush than this little guy so on the second coat it goes on a lot smoother with a regular acrylic paintbrush so I just wanted to hop on here and tell you that I will be back. Alright, since I'm using the other brush, I am going to close this up. I have put it back on and I'm just going to seal it up um, because the brush is still good. Um, and so we'll look at it later and see if it's dried up. Alright, I'm going to come back on camera and I will speed this up but I wanted to show you so I am starting to water this down a little bit because getting into these little spaces I mean we don't need a whole oh, that's too watered down but we don't need a whole lot of um, the thickness we just need the coverage soak up some of this water so as you can see it is completely covered it looks really good I'm excited to start painting on it so you probably will need to water it down at this point and also if you experience um, obviously I didn't clean this very well because you can see some of the other paint um, bleeding through the paint or the white paint as you can see these little dark spots um, there is a couple of things you can do to remedy, remedy that um, you can put a a blocker paint on it um, or as we're going to do in this one because I am painting the entire thing um, and so I don't think you'll be able to see it I just put my paintbrush in my paint but um, I'm just going to paint over it and see if on the second coat if it still bleeds through because I do have, let me get it real quick. I do have, and this happens to be by Dixie Bell. I, like I said, I used to paint a lot of furniture. Let me zoom this in and um, this is a clear 
and so it blocks the odors and the stains and it stops the bleed through because a lot of paint uh, a lot of furniture will have the stain on it and and so when you go to put your paint on it you will see that especially like cherry wood um, it will bleed through and so it doesn't matter how much you put on it um, it is going to bleed through so um, I'm going to see if the second coat helps with that and if it doesn't then I'm just going to put a layer of this Dixie Belle on it Alright, both pieces are primed. Um, there's probably a couple of spots that I'm going to have to touch up, but I want it to really dry. Um, and then I'll go in there and touch them up. So I was looking up some pictures, and I think I want to do. I think I want to do a plaid kind of like that but with the greens or not the greens the black and gray and I have the I have the teal color in my kitchen so I could do something along those lines and I have a little bit of the yellow um, and so I think I'm going to start with that. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to tape it off or if I'm going to try to freehand it. I will probably tape it off. And I do like how the lines are thicker and thinner and um, I do like that. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, and then from that point I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the rest of it so that is what tomorrow's video will be or the um, second part of this series this two-part series so I hope you learned a little something I know that this was kind of a, a boring video but it's an important step if you're trying to make over one of these pieces that you you like the construction of the piece but don't overlook it if it is you know not really matching your decor you can always paint over it and turn it into something that will match your decor so we will be back here tomorrow and I hope that you will give it a thumbs up on this video. If you haven't already subscribed, turn on that bell notification so that you will be notified um, every time that I post a video. And you guys have a great day.